Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and we are back with episode 20 of Attack on Titan Season 3. We have three more episodes to go and wow, we are getting into some really juicy stuff. Um, the first real hint as to the background of Grish Jaeger, uh, Eren's father. At the very end of last episode, we saw an alternative set of humanity who were living in a much more modern kind of city although i wouldn't say it was necessarily a good kind of city because it appeared to be that they were living in some kind of ghetto and had to be identified by these very kind of nazi-esque banners on their arms in terms of like you know the way that the nazis would make jewish people wear the uh, star of saint david or another kind of marking um on their arms to identify the fact that they were jewish um it seemed to be very similar um, I don't know necessarily what it is that is separating these people behind that wall and the wall into the main part of the city. Um, there's obviously some kind of discrimination going on there. And yeah, it's, I mean, I'm hoping that we get some of the stuff cleared up. Um, I mean, what all led to that was the fact that we managed to get into the basement of Eren's house. And at first it didn't seem like anything was too untoward. It looked like a pretty normal doctor's office and before we knew it there's a secret sort of drawer in the desk and yeah we're pulling out these books which detailed family history have photographs in them um you know which the scouts have never seen a photograph before because that technology does not exist to them um so there's still a lot of explaining to do but we're now starting to get a few more breadcrumbs to explain what's going on beyond the walls um, of, you know, the humanity that we've paid attention to for so long. Um, other than that, it was a very symbolic episode, kind of walking through the streets of Shiganshina. Um, you know, just, again, kind of um, going back to all of these times where Eren and Mikasa were kids... Um, reliving, you know, the attack on War Maria and, you know, obviously their mother's death, uh, or I should say Aaron's mother's death, and, you know, um, just really giving us a bit more of a gravitas of the situation. And then we saw that they did eventually return back, um, but there's kind of like jumps in between the, the timelines. So, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing where this episode's going to go. I, I feel like the time for battle is done. And these last three episodes are going to focus very much on the history of the world and the Titans. And I'm all for that. We've had plenty of action up until now. It's time to settle in, finally find out what's going on with these Titans. And, um, you know, see what that means for, for our characters. So, before we do jump into this episode, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters. Frank Tremel, The Lone Detective, Karen Abel, uh, Flawed Otaku and Raccoon Shampoo. I do appreciate all of your support. As always, guys, you can find a link to Patreon through the description um, with the link. So, yeah, let's jump into this next episode and see what happens. ...was made to face the truth of this world. So, I'm going to say more kind of 1930s era. That day. It must be the day that he left. Damn Eldians are crawling around as they please. Devil Bloods. It's all right, Faye. We've heard worse before. Look there. Are they? Just that hill. Is Devil Blood a reference to the Titan Blood? If you enter the city without permission, then you need to be punished. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Hard labor or a quick beating? A beating, please. Oh wow. Because oh, you don't want to trouble your parents, right? Very well. Holy shit. <laughs> Wow. Jeez, go easy on him, Kruger. The next day, my sister was found on the banks of the river. <gasps> I showed the girl to the gates of Liberio, and then I went on my way. I was busy with work. No. And Heldian children shouldn't be roaming about the city without permits in the first place. So much that it made my head spin. But more than that, I cursed my own foolishness. Damn, I can see why he'd want to leave now. Eight hundred and twenty years ago, our ancestor Emir Fritz made a contract with Emir. the devil of all Earth and obtained the power of the Titans. 
and use them to win the Great Titan War just 80 years ago. The Eldian king at the time erected three walls on the island of Paradis. Oh, they're on an island. With a great many of his people. Oh, shit. The ancestors were abandoned and left behind on the mainland, but despite our history, the gracious people of Marley let us live and stay on their land. My father was talkative for someone who had just lost his daughter. They're on an island. As he stood there, shaming his forebears. Our ancestors were heinous sinners, understand? They committed genocide against all other races. No wonder he wants to leave. I didn't do anything like that! We were just walking outside! Why are you doing this? What's wrong with you? Why are you so eager to get us all shipped away? Where do they go? We ourselves did nothing. But to those who have been victims... Do they get taken to the island? You and I are devils nonetheless. Hmm? A patriot? Your sister was killed by a Marleyan public security officer. Oh. That's a verified fact from our informant in the government. There's they have... Oh, he's underground? Is he resistance? I swore to myself that I'd show oh, you Oh, no. Devils were. I saw that my ancestors' so-called sins were justified. But to set the world right as it had been, Eldia... Was he doing the salute? Uh... My comrades, the owl sent us a new ally. Hello, it's good to meet you. Who's that? I am here as a descendant of the royal family. Oh shit! Dinah Fritz. In the midst of the Great Titan War, the hundred forty-fifth king forsook his duty to restore order on the continent and moved his capital to a distant island. Oh, so that's the capital. All these years of anguish. What? All be traced to the moment our king renounced conflict. Is she the Beast Titan's mother? Did they get together? Let's fight again. The true royal family stayed right here on the continent and held their ground for Eldia. The next year, the two of us married. That's the Beast Titan. His name was Zeke. Zeke. Our royal child, Zeke. There's no doubt in my heart that someday he'll lead his people to victory. Oh, you've no idea. <sighs> Years pass by. Marley currently leads the world using the power of its seven titans, but they may soon grow obsolete. An enormous seven titans? Of fuel lies beneath Paradis. Marley can't afford... Oh. Uh... But it's bad, but we still have a path forward. I'll send my son, Zeke. To become a Marley and <gasps> Look at that. He's playing with a toy that looks like Almost the Beast Titan. Told by the Marleyans was wrong. Better than anyone. What a wretched sin it is to impose your beliefs yeah. on your children. Oh no. I saw him as a child of royal blood. Zeke chose to protect himself as well as his grandparents. Oh, he ratted them. His naive, foolish parents. Oh shit. Marley public security. He ratted them out. Answer me. Who is the owl? Please, no more. I don't know. I told you everything. Please, just uh, stop. I'm disappointed to hear that. Holy we'll shit. Ah. Uh, he's the same guy. I met you once before. Is he the owl? When I was just a child. Say something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so... Why did we put all our hopes behind a naive There's so much going on. Looks like you've got a lively one. Well, we've got a whole bunch to turn this time. So let's get a move on. Oh, so they have a, they've got the Titan formula? Oh, I see what he's done. like to interrogate this one a bit further. You can continue without me. Oh, this one's a woman. Too bad. Oh, is it going to be his wife? Oh, no, it's his wife. Ah. My darling. Why'd they bring you here? I swear I'll come find you. Well, isn't that romantic? I'm oh, sure you're no. a great Titan couple. No! Dana! What's she going to turn into? I 
can't see it. Oh. Poor Dinah. <gasps> that was the Titan that killed his parent, wasn't it? His mum. Shut up. I've just realised. Did you say something? It was you. Do you not feel any remorse? Well, I guess I get what you mean. If something that horrible were to happen to one of my children, get what you mean? Break, no question. You poor devils. It's a shame you had to be born Eldian. Holy shit. This guy is that a bastard. Is a true form. All it takes is some Titan spinal fluid, and any one of you will turn into a man eating monster. Titan spinal fluid. The whole of humanity would feel safer if you Eldians would just disappear. You can't do this to me! I'm a human being! Do you hear that? Your sister's calling for you! Oh wow, what a dick! Yes! Thank you! He must be the owl. Ah, oh, I love it. Eat him slowly, please. Chew on him bit by bit by bit. Well, your time has come. Because I'm the owl, Grisha. Yeah. Watch closely and don't forget. This is how we of the nine use our power. He's one of the nine. Oh, which one is he? That's... That's Eren's form. Oh! Whoa! Okay, wow! Wow, 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 wow! So much is starting to make a bit more sense now. It's still very, very confusing in terms of, like, all of these new nations and these new peoples and this new history that's been brought into it all so sudden. Um... So you've got two people, the Eldians and the Marlians. The Eldians were the original Titan people. Um, Ymir was like this Titan goddess, I guess. So there's nine, there's nine Titans who are not just mindless zombies, I guess. Um, and there's two different versions of history. There's one history where the Eldians believe that the Ymir helped the country prosper. Um, Titans were used to help people. And then you've got the Marlians who believe that, you know, they were destructive and they were trying to wipe out the Marlians. And it all culminated in a war that forced the remaining Eldians over to this island, which is where they built the walls. There was a, So there's a big Titan war that the Eldians lost. And those that were left over there were treated like what we've just seen. Um, in ghettos, treated as second-class citizens, you know, and, and as punishment for obviously serious crimes, they are sent to the island and turned into titans. And that's where those titans come from, the titans that are... And that's... You know what? That is such an ironic thing. It's an ironic thing that... The remnants of the Eldian people, who are the people inside the walls, are fighting against their own ancestors in a way, in terms of like they're the same people. They're Eldians, they're all Eldians. Like the Titans are Eldians, um, the people in the walls are Eldians, and it's the Marlians who are sending them over, transforming them. And those Titans then go and attack the city and, you know, are trying to eat people. Now, <clears throat> with that being said, we obviously saw Zeke, who is the Beast Titan, who is Eren's half-brother. He betrayed his family, and I don't know what it is that then... His history is still a mystery. What is his purpose still? Because you would think that if he's working for the Marlians then, you know, he wants to get those resources underneath the city. And, and he, he might see, he might share the similar opinion that they are less than human. Um, and that's why he says they all have to die, because they need to get those resources. Um, 
I don't quite know how Bertolt and Reiner came into this. You know, were they people? Were were they people who came from the same city? Um, you know, because as far as as far as I'm aware, can only Eldians be transformed with the Titan spinal fluid? Are Marlians immune to that? And that's where the difference is. I I don't know. But what we did learn, um, firstly, is that there are nine Titan powers. So there's nine individual Titan powers, which now I guess there's less because with each one... Uh, actually, no, there's not less. But I mean, there would have been if, if, if Reiner and Berthold had both been eaten by the same person, that would have combined two different Titan powers into one. Um... But we saw there that there's nine of them. The Owl, who is the government informant, was one of those. And he seems to have the same form that Eren has. So presumably, at some point, um, Eren's father, Grish, eats the Owl, takes his power. And then we know what happens later on that causes Eren to get uh, the power from Grish. We also learned that Dinah who was the last of the royal blood of the original Eldians, I guess. Um, well, not the last, the last of the, the royal blood that was in that city, um, turned into a titan, which was the titan who ate Eren's mother. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. The problem with all of these is so many different faces, you sometimes doubt yourself as to whether they are the right faces. But I'm pretty certain that it was the same titan who ate um Eren's mother um i just, i can't get over the, the 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 cruelty of the marlian people um you know the extreme like just hatred that is put towards the the aliens and whether one history is correct or not you know treating another set of humans as subhuman is just never ever right um but man that was an excellent episode um it's one of those episodes where i didn't say a lot i just had to shut up and listen because i was getting a history lesson and i was all for it you know um and i yeah it's starting to it's starting to open up a whole new world they're on an island you know everyone who's been in those walls they don't realize it but it's an island and you know what the another ironic thing is is that Armin, who has been trying to find the sea for so long, could have travelled in any direction and he would have eventually found the sea. That's that's the irony, you know. Um so yeah, man, what a story. What a story so far. It's starting to really open up now. And um We've just got this last little bit to, to fill in, like what happened with Zeke after he turned up his parents, what happened to Yiga between there and the time he got to the city, um, and you know, what are Bertolt and Reiner's sort of way of fitting into this in terms of like, you know, obviously they're helping Zeke and they must be loyal to the Mamalians, um, but how did they insert themselves in that way? How were they brought up? How did they get their powers in the first place? Because, you know, they're they're two who have had that powers annie as well annie must have one so let's think about it there's nine of them and i think we've got five accounted for um maybe the scout titan is the sixth one i'm not sure but we've got the beast titan we've got Eren's titan we've got the armored titan the colossal titan uh we've got annie's titan like i say i think the scout titan is the sixth one so there's three more that I'm not sure about that we haven't maybe met yet. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. They said, was it seven? Was it the Eldians had seven of the Titans and the Marlians had two? Or was it the Avoy Around? It may have been the Avoy Around. Marlians had seven and the Eldians only had two. Um, that seems to make a bit more sense. Yeah. So yeah. We're going to have to wait and see what happens next. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one.